They're bringing. I saw a video where their president, their 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 imposter in Asorok, was giving orders to the military to go and kill people in Anambra State and force them out. That is what they have been doing. They have been killing. <clears throat> but we continue to try as much as possible to make sure that so many Biafran stay alive. And how are you going to stay alive? If you are a Biafran, go and listen to what Buhari have said. The person representing Buhari have told the military to go to Anambra State and force people to vote. And what they are coming is to kill. That is why whenever sit at home is being called, obey the sit at home. That is the only way it could be alive. Presently, if you want to be alive in Anambra State, when you hear about sit at home, stay in your home. No matter what you have outside, do not come out. Because the DSS are going to kill you. As I'm speaking to you now, the president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, has given them license to go to the southeast because of the election. You see the good number of police that have been sent to, to, to Anambra State just because of their so because they want to legitimize their fraud in Anambra State. But we can never be part of it. They can impose anybody they want to impose. They have been doing it for a very long time. But what we will not tolerate anymore is endorsing that criminality. That is what we are asking. No Biafran should put his or her signature to endorse that criminality. Let them go ahead and begin to appoint who they will appoint. And let the world see it. Let the world see it. When we talk about civil disobedience, this is the time every Biafran has to play their role. Do not come out or participate in anything that has to do with election if you want to stay alive. Do not join any political party. It doesn't matter even if it is your reverend father's party, even if it is your father's party, even if it is your pastor's party, even if it is the party of your traditional ruler or the party of who the person you respect so much. Do not go along with them. Do not come out for voting. Do not participate in the election. Do not be an electoral, electoral officer because you are exposing yourself to death. If you try to be an electoral officer, use your house or their car or whatever to participate, eventually, prepare for, you are preparing yourself for your death. You are preparing yourself for death. Before you go, make sure you reserve money for your burial, for your family, because the ginger weed are going to kill you. Already they have deployed their military in Anambra State. They have deployed them. They didn't hide it. They have deployed them. What you have to do to stay alive? Anybody that gets this video, share it. If you have your family in Anambra State, share this video to them. Tell them to stay away from anything that has to do with election. That is the way to stay alive. Unless for those ones who want to sacrifice themselves, who want to commit suicide, they can go ahead and come out. No election in Anambra State. That is what the whole Biafran have said. And so shall it be. Mazin Nandikaru made this order. He gave this order and that order must be respected. That order must be respected. They cannot be able to down detention or try to play on our intelligence by showing us our children are going to be caught. They have just gotten us angry the more. They got us angry the more by allowing even their politicians to come to that court to mock our sister Mazin and the camp. If I go back, to mock our sister Mazin and the camp, and you want to talk of election, there will be no election in Anambra State. There will be no election. It doesn't matter what they do, it doesn't matter what they say, that is where we stand. Our Sulina Mazin and the camp is the way to go. He has given us every tool and every equipment we need to survive. Every tool we need to have Biafra. Our Sulina Mazin and the has given it to us. Do not play with it. Go and listen to the messages of Asuna Mazin and the in the past. Everywhere he has spoken, he is saying the truth and nothing but the truth. His messages will encourage you and show you the way to go. You will never be confused. You will never be deceived. You will never be blackmailed when you listen to the voice of Asuna Mazin and the That is why I am going to play another video of Asuna Mazin and the to remind you where he stands, where we stand, and what we are fighting for. Let us listen to His Excellency, our Supreme Leader, Mazin and the there is a man called Ifanyo Obad, they said he's from Nnewi. As soon as this whole thing started, he went about lying to the presidency of the zoo that he talks to me every day. I have never in my life spoken to Ifanyo Obad before. I have not. He kept using the name of IPOB to extort money very comfortable individuals in and around the Newi during this period. He has been going around duping people, obtaining money from them with falsehood because he claimed that he would defend their properties for them and prevent 
our angry young people from attacking them. And he told Asarok that we speak on a daily basis. That he is in control of what is happening on the ground. That was the man that when this whole thing started, he was the one that was seen distributing 20,000 Naira each to some hooligans. Very, very sad indeed. Those people that later on decided to occupy the road leading from Onisha to a worry that necessitated or warranted the order that I gave during one of our emergency brokers that they should clear from the roads, which they did. If you know this man, Ifanyoba, who is from Nene, will you go and warn him? All those stupid politics and games they play, we don't play it. We are IPOB. We don't play all those. They can play that nonsensical games with the hotelier. Not with us. Because we are very, very serious. If you have been duped with the name of IPOB, if you have been deceived into thinking that Ifanyoba has the ear of anyone, not even the unit coordinator in his village, then you are grossly mistaken. We don't know who he is. And we do not care to know who he is. The people of Ne, we should please take note and stop giving him your money or allowing him access to whatever influence that he thinks you may be able to wield in Abuja based on these lies he's been propagating. We don't know who he is. Coming to this, believe you me, if you have to be subjugated under the very cruel, barbaric rule of Fulani Janja Buddhism, you will understand what we are talking about. As I'm speaking to you right now, most villages are under siege. There are killings and rapings, abductions and murder going on right across the length and breadth of the Zoological Republic. But they cannot understand what is happening to them. They know that the problem of insecurity in Nigeria is intractable for the simple reason that they have allowed, failed, should I say, to allow Biafra to go. The sooner they understand this or realize this, the better for everybody. But I'm not sure they will because they are very stubborn. And as God hardened the heart of Pharaoh to fail, so are they also going to fail. And that is why those of them who are in Benue State, that is why the likes of Governor Autumn or the very young man who was mouthing his rubbish um, a day or two ago concerning the deployment of Eastern Security Network into Lower Benue is in for a very, very difficult and horrible experience of their lives. I must warn also Governor Autumn of Benue State. I am not laying claim to Benue State, the entirety of Benue State, not at all. What I'm making very clear to you is that there are Igbo people, Igbo communities, not traders, not migrants, not settlers, no. These are our traditional towns, communities, and villages wickedly gerrymandered into the north. That you have Igbo people today answering Igbo names, speaking Igbo language, who are answering to Londoners. An abomination before God Almighty in heaven. I will not allow it to continue. Those Igbo speaking parts of Benue State is part and parcel of Biafra, part and parcel of the Eastern region. And should anything happen to them, if you fail to control Fulani incursion into that very territory, then ESN will continue to do their work. And I have commended them earlier and allow me to do so again at this very moment. I commend the men and women, not just of our high command, but also of the Eastern Security Network that successfully pursued and apprehended a notorious Fulani bandit by the name Mohammed Issa. We have the videos. For those of them claiming he's an old man, they are all lying and they know it very well. He is the leader of a gang of abductors, of rapists and of murderers tormenting our farming communities, but I'm glad to report this very evening, morning or night, depending on where you are, that that menace 
that threat has been permanently put to bed. It will no longer happen. Should our people in Benue State be subjected to further attacks, I am also informing Governor Autumn of Benue State. I will make sure that ESN returns to that very area. Or should I say, come out of the bushes to confront whoever comes against the children of the Most High God, Elohim in heaven. This is a warning to all of you. For those of you that specialize, in, should I say, in twisting the obvious, in turning truth into lies, I never claimed the whole of Benue State. You people carved Igbo people into Benue, which is unacceptable. We are in an era, not that of the old, compromised and discredited Ohanese and Diara Nandiyoshi. Not in that very era. No, we are not in that anymore. We are not in the era of compromised governors in the pocket of the Fulani Caliphate. No, we are now in the era of IPOB. And no inch of territory belonging to traditional should I say, ethnicities making up Biafra will be surrendered to anybody, no. And in Benue State, we have taught them, while they were discussing that, uh, don't come to Benue, we are already on the ground in Benue State, in the world Benue. And we are not in Benue State that doesn't belong to us. We are in Igbo parts of Benue State, Igbo communities of Benue State. And we are there to defend them, and that is precisely what we are going to do, and nobody is going to discourage us otherwise. We are making it very clear today that the Eastern Security Network is on the ground. We are on the ground in Benue State and in every part of Biafra for that matter. We are in Cross River. We are in Akwaibon. We are in Bayelsa. Everywhere it is happening. Anywhere we confront Fulani, headsmen, these terrorists, we will drive them away. Be rest assured, we are not going to rest one iota until our farmlands, our homes, and our forests are secure. What is happening in Yoruba land cannot happen in Biafra land. Nobody, no idiot can come from anywhere to claim any inch or parcel of Biafran forest. It is not, it is not doable. Instead, we all die there. That is why I am making this presentation live, at least for those of you who may be able to come over on Instagram, that I am on Instagram and I'm live. If you want to see a live video of this very broadcast, it is there. You can and should be able to see it. Anywhere in Biafra land we confront Fulani terrorists, we shall meet them head on. We know that they are part of the police and the army. Danjuma himself, General T.Y. Danjuma himself, testified before the British Parliament that the army of Nigeria and the police are colluding in the conquest of indigenous populations in Nigeria. And we are no exception to that very horrible and sinister conspiracy. The police we have in our land are terrorists in uniform. The army we have in Biafra land are basically terrorists. They are there to aid and to support Fulani Janja with advancement to the Atlantic Ocean. And we are there to stop them. And we are stopping them and will continue to stop them. A few days ago, as I said, we embedded our men and women of the Northern Command of Eastern Security Network. When we said Northern Command, people were confused. Biafra land is a nation. We have Northern Biafra. We have Central. We have the South, which is the coastal region. We have the East and we have the West. When I talk about the Northern Command, I'm talking about the Northern part of Biafra land, which incidentally starts from Benue State. So we are right to be there. If you don't want us to be in Benue State, quietly go back to Abuja and appeal to them. Tell them to release Igbo people in Benue and carve them back into a Boeing state where they should belong, or Enugu state, as the case may be. Therefore, anybody, you know, one thing about Nigeria is that they tend to defend the aggressor. It's in the, it's in the, it is in the DNA in Nigeria to always support evil. That is why this very newspaper publication, I don't have a means of putting it here on Instagram where I am broadcasting live, where you can see my face and my facial expression, but it, is, it will be on my Facebook page. If you go there, you will see it. This publication was made on January 23 of 2021, this very year. It is a front page news by Vanguard. 
I want you to understand how an average Nigerian thinks, how they reason, why I think that Nigeria itself is a curse upon humanity. There on the front page, you will see, we will kill all policemen and take over a dose state. Full and agent Jawid. Those they claim are foreigners. These people, they told us, are foreigners. They come from Mali, from, from, from Senegal, from Gambia, from heaven knows where, from Niger, from Chad, from Northern Cameroons. But they are in Nigeria, killing people. After killing us, they will not turn around and tell us to absorb them into our communities. That is why anybody, any Igwe, any PG, any greedy, avaricious fool, stupid enough to give any of our land to Fulani Janjaweed, you are finished. There was a man in Enugu that tried to say nonsense. Go and ask him where he is today. We take no prisoners. You see, the land of Biafra must be defended at all costs. At all costs. It is the land of God given to his children for their eternal habitation. We may have failed in the past to recognize this very fact, but now that this generation has come, there is nothing anybody can do to stop us from restoring the kingdom of God upon the face of this very earth in the land of Biafra, without apologies to anybody. I understand that the Sarikin, whatever, Sarikin Fulani of Lagos went to see the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria in Lagos a few days ago. And according to the message, or should I say information coming out of the U.S. mission, they said is to foster cohabitation and unity, that diversity is strength. And I want to lay that particular nonsensical narrative to bed tonight before I continue any further. Anybody telling you about strength and diversity, that person is a liar and a deceiver. And the U.S. ambassador is a liar and a deceiver. One thing they don't teach we Africans is this. No country exists on a foundation of multiculturalism that is no, nowhere in the world. Listen to me very carefully. All this nonsense, even the, the, the crap that Coca was coming up with, telling you about diversity is our strength and all that rubbish. Allow me to repeat, there is no country on this earth that survives on a foundation or a bedrock of multiculturalism. It doesn't exist. That is why multiculturalism in Africa is dead on arrival. It can never work. Because we are tribal beasts by nature. We are tribal by nature. That is why we travel from wherever we are during New Year's, during Christmas, during Easter, during New Year Festival to go back home where we come from. After hearing the voice of Ambassador President Ghana, I must tell you I am a Nigerian. I am stronger than ever. I have more reason to fight for Biafra and I will continue to fight. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra is here. Odudua will survive. Every indigenous tribe, the country of Nigeria, will be free. We will all have our freedom. We will take it by ourselves. It doesn't matter what they do. May Chukwu Kukabia continue to guide and protect our sinner Mazin and the Kano. May Chukwu Kukabia continue to strengthen our sinner Mazin and the Kano. May Chukwu Kukabia continue to give him good health, give him strength, give him more revelation, and bring him to us very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. I'm Ruben Bless. Bye-bye. See you again on the next video.